This is the Sakar Merli of the 15th of February, 2024. Essence. Sweet children, the Father has come to change thorns into flowers. The Father has love for the thorns as well as the flowers. He makes effort to change the thorns into flowers. Question. What are the signs of the children who have imbibed this knowledge? Answer. They perform wonders. They are not able to stay without benefiting themselves and others. When they are shot by an arrow... They become destroyers of attachment and become engaged in doing spiritual service. Their stage is constant, stable, unshakable and immovable. They never perform senseless acts. They never cause anyone sorrow. They continue to remove the thorns of defect. Om Shanti You children know that the father is a big lever clock. He comes at the accurate time to change thorns into flowers. It cannot be any less or more by even a second. There cannot be the slightest difference. You sweetest children also know that at this time this is an iron-aged forest of thorns. Therefore those who are to become flowers should feel that they are becoming flowers. Previously we were all thorns, some small and others big. Some cause a lot of sorrow and others cause a little sorrow. The Father has love for everyone. There is the song, I have love for flowers and also for thorns. Whom does he love first? He definitely loves the thorns. He has so much love that he makes effort on them and changes them into flowers. In fact, he comes into this world of thorns. There cannot be any idea of omnipresence in this. There is praise of just the one. Praise of a soul is sung when that soul takes a body and plays his part. It is souls that become elevated and souls that become corrupt. Just as a soul adopts a body and performs actions, accordingly it is said whether a soul is one who performs sinful actions or one who performs pure actions. It is the soul that performs good or bad actions. Ask yourself, am I a golden-aged divine flower or an iron-aged devilish thorn? There is a vast difference between the golden age and the iron age. There is a lot of difference between deities and devils. Those who are thorns can't call themselves flowers. There are flowers in the Golden Age. They don't exist in the Iron Age. This is now the Confluence Age, when you are changing from thorns into flowers. After the teacher gives you a lesson, it is the duty of you children to refine it and show it to the teacher. In that... You should also write, if you want to become flowers, then consider yourselves to be souls and remember the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul who makes you into flowers. Your defects will then be removed and you will become Sata Pratan. Baba gives you an essay and it is the duty of you children to correct it and get it printed so that all the people can then think about it. This is a study. Baba is teaching you this unlimited history and geography. 
In those schools, they teach the history and geography of the old world. No one knows the history and geography of the new world. So this is a study and also an explanation. To perform a dirty act is senseless. Then it is explained that you mustn't perform those vicious acts that cause sorrow. There is the praise of the Father, who is the remover of sorrow and the bestower of happiness. Here you are learning that you mustn't cause anyone sorrow. The Father gives you the teaching. Constantly continue to give happiness. This stage is not created that quickly. You can claim your inheritance from the Father in a second, but it does take time to become worthy. You understand that the inheritance from the unlimited Father is the sovereignty of heaven. You explain that Barrett received the sovereignty of the world from the Parlochic Father. All of you were the masters of the world. You children should have that happiness inside you. It is only a matter of yesterday when you were masters of the world. People speak of hundreds of thousands of years. They say that the duration of every age is hundreds of thousands of years. Whereas you say that the duration of the whole cycle is 5,000 years. There is a lot of difference. Only the one father is the ocean of knowledge. You should imbibe divine virtues from him. People of the world continue to become Tamar Pratan day by day. They continue to learn more and more defects. Previously, there wasn't as much corruption or adulteration. It is now increasing. You are now continuing to become Satopritan with the power of remembrance of the Father. Just as you come down, so you also have to return. First of all, you have the happiness that you have found the Father. Your connection is forged and there is the pilgrimage of remembrance. Those who have performed greater devotion would have a greater pilgrimage of remembrance. Many children say, Baba, I am unable to have remembrance. The same thing happens on the path of devotion. When they sit down to listen to a religious story, their intellects wander in other directions. The one who is relating the story watches them and would then suddenly ask them a question. What did I just ask you? Then they look confused, whereas others would instantly be able to reply. Not all are the same. Although they are sitting here, they don't imbibe anything at all. If they were to imbibe this knowledge, they would show wonders. They would not be able to stay without benefiting themselves and others. Although some have a lot of happiness in their home, they may have a mansion and a car, etc. Once an arrow hits them, that's it. She would tell her husband, I want to do this spiritual service. However, Maya is very powerful. She doesn't allow her to do that. There is attachment. How could she renounce all of those mansions and all of that happiness? Oh, but what about the happiness that you experienced at first? Some belong to big families of millionaires and multimillionaires and they renounced everything and came here. Their fortune shows that they don't have the courage to let go of everything. They are caught by the chains of Ravan. Those chains are of their intellects. The father explains, 
Oh, but you are becoming worthy of worship, masters of the world. The Father guarantees that you will never fall ill for 21 births. You will remain ever healthy for 21 births. You may live with your husband, but simply get permission to remain pure and make others pure. It is your duty to remember the Father from whom you receive limitless happiness. By remembering him, you will become Sato Britan from Tamo Britan. This is a matter of great understanding. There is no guarantee for the body. At least belong to the Father. There is nothing more lovely than he is. The Father makes you into the masters of the world and says, Become as Sutta Britan as you want. You will see limitless happiness. Baba has the gates of heaven open through you mothers. He has placed the urn of knowledge on the mothers. Baba made the mothers into trustees. You mothers look after everything. He had the urn placed on them through this one. And then those people wrote that the ocean was churned and the urn of nectar was given to Lakshmi. You now know that Baba is opening the gates to heaven. So why should we not claim our inheritance from Baba? Why should we not become Mahavirs and be threaded in the rosary of victory? The unlimited father takes you children into his lap. For what? In order to make you into the masters of heaven. He sits here and gives teachings to those who are complete thorns. He still loves the thorns. That is why he makes them into flowers. You invoke the Father to come into the impure world and an impure body. Leave your land of Nirvana and come here. The Father says, according to the drama, I have to come into the world of thorns. So surely he loves you. How could he make you into flowers without him having love? You have now changed from Iron Age thorns into Golden Age Satipratan, Masters of the World. It is explained to you with so much love. A Kumari is a flower, and this is why everyone bows down at her feet. When she becomes a thorn, that is, impure, she has to bow down to everyone. So what should you do? You should become such a flower so that you remain ever in flower. A Kumari is viceless, even though she has taken birth through vice, just as sannyasis take birth through vice. They get married and then leave their homes and families. People then call them great souls. There is a vast difference between the masters of the world of the Golden Age and the great souls of the Iron Age. This is why Baba has said, ask them the question, are you an Iron Age thorn or a Golden Age flower? Are you corrupt or elevated? Since this is the kingdom of Ravan, it is a corrupt world. It is said that it is the devilish kingdom, the kingdom of devils. However, none of them understand themselves to be that. When you children ask these questions tactfully, they will understand by themselves that they are lustful, angry and greedy people. Write these things in the exhibitions so that they feel that they are Iron Age thorns. You are now becoming flowers. Baba is ever in flower. He never becomes a thorn. However, all the rest become thorns. 
So the flower says, I am changing you thorns into flowers. Therefore, remember me. Maya is very powerful. So do you want to belong to Maya? The father pulls you to him and Maya pulls you to her. This is an old shoe. A soul takes a new shoe at first and he then becomes an old shoe. At this time, all shoes are tamo pratan. I make you become like velvet. There, because souls are pure, they receive velvet bodies, no defects. There are many defects here. Look how beautiful the features are there. No one can create those features here. The father himself says, I make you so elevated. While living at home with your families, become pure. There is the fire of yoga to remove the rust that has been accumulating on you for birth after birth. Your sins will be burnt away by this. You will become real gold. You are given a very good method to remove the alloy. Constantly remember me alone. You have this knowledge in your intellects. A soul is very tiny. If he were any bigger, he could not enter. How would he enter? Doctors beat their heads so much to be able to see a soul. However, they cannot be seen. You can have a vision of one, but there is no benefit in having visions. For instance, if you have a vision of Vicunt paradise, what is the benefit in that? Only when the old world ends can you become a resident of paradise. You have to practice yoga for that. The father explains, Children, first I have love for thorns. The father is the ocean of love to the maximum extent. You children are also continuing to become sweet. The father says, Consider yourselves to be souls and see others as brothers and all criminal thoughts will then completely end. Your intellects cause mischief, even with the relationship of brother and sister, and you therefore have to see all as brothers. There, there is no consciousness of the body, for there to be that awareness or that attachment. The Father only teaches souls, Therefore, you too must consider yourselves to be souls. Those bodies are perishable, so you mustn't attach your hearts to them. In the Golden Age, you don't have love for them. You have heard the story of the king who conquered attachment. It is said, the soul will shed one body and go and take another one. He has received his part. So why should you have attachment? This is why Baba also says, Remain cautious. Eat halva, even if your mother or your wife dies. Promise that no matter who dies, you will not cry. Remember your father and become Sato Britan. There is no other way to become Sato Britan. Only by making effort will you become a bead of the rosary of victory. You can become whatever you want by making effort. The Father understands that you will make the same effort that you made in the previous cycle. The Father is the Lord of the poor. Donations are made to the poor. The Father himself says, I enter an ordinary body, neither poor nor wealthy. 
Only you children know the Father, whereas the rest of the world calls him omnipresent. The Father is establishing such a religion that there will be no mention of sorrow there. On the path of devotion, people ask for blessings. Here, there is no question of receiving mercy. Whom would you bow down to? He is just a point. You could bow down if he were something large. You cannot bow down to something so tiny. To whom would you put your palms together when you pray? All of those signs of the path of devotion will disappear. To put your palms together becomes the path of devotion. Do brothers and sisters put their palms together in front of one another at home? People ask to have a son in order to make him their heir. The child is the master. And this is why the Father says Namaste to the children. The Father is the children's servant. Acha. To the sweetest beloved, long lost and now found children, love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father, Babdada. The spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children, and the spiritual children say namaste to the spiritual father. Essence Hadana 1. Do not attach your heart to perishable bodies. Become a conqueror of attachment. Promise that no matter who leaves his or her body, you will not cry. 2. Become as sweet as the Father. Give happiness to everyone. Do not cause sorrow for anyone. Do the service of changing thorns into flowers. Bring benefit to yourself and others. Blessing. May you have pure and positive thoughts for yourself and for others and transform anything negative into positive. In order to remain constantly powerful, simply remember two things. Have pure and positive thoughts for yourself and for others. With pure and positive thoughts for yourself, you can transform anything negative into positive. Having pure and positive thoughts for yourself is connected to having pure and positive thoughts for others. If there are no pure and positive thoughts for yourself, you cannot have pure and positive thoughts for others. Pay attention to both of these things at the present time because there are so many problems and people cannot understand you just with words. So use your pure and positive thoughts and give them vibrations, and they will then change. Slogan Play with the jewels of knowledge, virtues and powers, not with mud. Om Shanti